Welcome back to the room three. We've just entered an entirely new location, which is always one of the most exciting moments. I noticed this right before I quit the last episode. Oh, it's changing the actual, like, full-sized version of itself. This is a mini version. Looks like we're creating the keyhole. That keyhole on the very top doesn't want to line up perfectly, which really bothers me. was in the right spot and then when you let it go it moves slightly. Oh, I hate that. Anyway, it's good enough, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> so I think it's on the other side that we just made that keyhole. Yeah, this is definitely a greenhouse. Pots all over the place. Another test passed with all colors flying, and now the time truly is at hand. I promised you answers, and answers you shall have. Every soul is unique, and so must be every trap that snares it. An altar of belief, a tome of answers. A crypt of terrors. For A.S. his box full of demons. Knowledge, power, sight beyond sight. All lies. All just bait in the trap. This house was to be yours had you failed. But you walked free of it as you have all the rest. I am certain now that you are the one I have sought. The one who will find the center of the labyrinth. The one who will walk free of this very realm. These all need power, of course. Just waiting for a key, one that we do not have. Oh, that's a crystal, just like the one we have in our inventory. Uh, I think that takes power too, though. Let's just get the power going, shall we? So we have to make this, regardless of which one we use, it's going to bridge those. Which means we need to go from here to a minus somewhere. But that's a plus. And that's a plus. Oh, do we need to go... We need to go backwards, don't we? Aha! So now that we've lit up that location out there, I think that means that's the next place we're going to go, right? Alright, this power cord goes into this room to the camera? It's not really a camera, I don't know what it is. This 
thing. What the heck? Just goes back and forth? We can't control it? Alright. I wasn't done with that place at all. Well, now we're in the water mill thing. Can I go back right now? I... I think I have to complete this before I can go back. Yeah. Okay. a funny contraption. It's sort of a vaguely key-shaped lock that requires a key to unlock the key-shaped lock thing. Here you arrive at the birthplace of my enterprise and your final lesson. Here is where I began crafting my masterworks and where you shall learn to do likewise. That which you seek is contained in the box on the table here. Accessing it will require the mastery of many tools. The first set of keys you will have to make yourself, but the final one is held ready for you. My final lesson. Sounds like it's the end of the game, but I know it can't be, because this game's supposed to be quite a bit longer. So I wonder what's going to happen after that. Kind of look like pressure pads. Ooh. Let's take a quick look around for more things drawn on things. You're going to be making a fire. Probably used to forge our own keys, right? The ones we're going to make. Now, these might be the keys, perhaps. Maybe they go here to bridge the gap so this can continue. I assume nothing is going to happen with the pyramid until we start doing things, activating things with a control panel. Well, this at least can be moved. No, it doesn't stay. There's a lot in this room, isn't there? Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I think it's gonna, f the metal is gonna flow into here, I think. And then hit the water below it to cool off. It doesn't do anything, but it's really fun. Is this where the kindling goes? Ah. This is missing something, isn't it? It's supposed to be striking flint? Perhaps we're missing the flint. It's cold. Whoa, look at this arm. understand what this penny thing does. It doesn't seem to be changing anything. These metal pins look like they should be connected to something. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this shows up bunch of discs. Maybe the discs are the things that go inside. Either way, we definitely don't have what we need for that. Ooh, progress. We just made the bag go on the ground. I don't think that's good for anything. I think when we find another lever to put in that thing, we can move it sideways and then drop it on this. And I think these are pressure pads. We just don't need to stand on them. Yeah, and then if it's here, we can hit that one as well. So right now, I think it's useless. Right. What requires a key? Not this. At least not this type of key. Oh, it probably goes into this other key thing. And now I get the rod. So I'm going to divert the flow to that, so it's going to start spinning. Which will give us some rotational energy. Which unfortunately doesn't connect to anything yet. wonder how I get it to engage with the other gears. I'm guessing this rod goes in here. Oh, no. Would that be the... Oh, yeah, it's this thing. Ah. 
Ah, oh, I was worried about that. Well, let's see what the other one does. Okay, that one goes back too, but I have an idea. The idea being, this one on the top has a handle. Maybe now that it's open, I can, I don't know, lock it in place? Oh, is that what it... Yeah, that locked it. Okay. this whole belt and gear system. That's how it used to be done. Hmm? Oh, wait a second. I can put this bag in there now. It connects with that. sure what I'm supposed to do with the bag. Cut it open, perhaps? I can't read what's on it, either. I just see the 25 pounds, but I'm not sure of what. Actually, it doesn't even say what it is, does it? Company name, something England. Hmm. Oh. Right, this is a table saw. going to be using so many machines. I love this. This looks like it's missing a belt. Yeah, that is supposed to connect to something down here? Here. Yeah, it's supposed to connect to here. What's going on down here? <laughs> There's so much going on. Oh my god, so those gears aren't touching for the ground floor thing. That's to move this along. So we might need to move it closer and then connect it with a belt. Except we can't move it closer, nor do we have a belt. Oh yeah, if you look at this thing, this is not... Whoa, what is going on with the belt? I'm not sure why it's staying there, but anyway, the belt's obviously not tight. I heard something move slightly. What 
moved. Huh. Ooh, here's a thing. Hell if I know what to do with it. What do I do with a chess piece? I don't think I can do anything with what we have in here yet. Like, does the chess piece go on the pyramid somewhere? There is this little symbol at the very bottom of the chess piece, and I think, yeah, that matches this. Oh, but it doesn't... Oh, it goes on one of these. Oh, still need another one. That didn't really take me anywhere. Hmm, so it looks like I need to get... Whoa, oh, that's a reset button. So I need to get these to match. Oh, so it moves over. It moves over... By two? Or one? Depending on which one it wants? I'm confused about that. They only move one direction. They can't move back. So at this point... I failed and I can't complete this, so I gotta reset it. Wait, do they have different directions listed on them? Like, it looks like there's two arrows on the top of it pointing both directions, but... Uh, no, it doesn't seem like I can actually make it go the other way. So if these can only go to the le uh, to the right, and these can only go to the left, and they can only move either one or two over... Well, what do I do? <laughs> Oh, yeah, so that doesn't work. That's guaranteed to screw you. Oh, I think I just got it. A metal casting. This, I think, goes into another part of this. Or, uh... No, I think that goes here. That's how you engage the gears. Now, we have some power in here. We have power on the bandsaw. Oh, Jesus Christ. Downright exploded. Is that gold? Not that it matters. Woohoo, I'm rich. 50... 50... Z? Or, no, 5... OZ. 5 ounces. 999.0, is that purity or something? I don't know. Who cares? Block of metal. Well, I assume this is the thing that needs to be melted in the forge. Oh, this thing at the forge can be adjusted. Not that that really matters right now. I don't think it does, unless it can turn into a box that will hold this ingot. Which it can't. Yeah, so this is the mold. So this is how I'm going to decide what I want the key to look like.
Oh, that's a thing. A flint. So that's... Oh. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that is where the ingot goes. Okay, but before that, I need to decide what kind of a key I need to make. So it's quite a long and complicated key. It's gotta be for one of the things here? Oh, it... It lists them. Yeah, it shows you what it's supposed to look like. There's three of them. Well, start with the bottom one, I guess. So, kind of like lines, square, fish. Lines. I guess this, yeah, that's a square. Fish. Oh, that's cool. So you put it in, it's going to melt. And then... Oh, I got to use the bellows. Then it'll melt, then I can pull it out and it'll pour into the thing. I suppose if I messed this key up or want to change it to another one, I think I could just remelt it, right? The key doesn't fit. It seems to be the wrong shape. Oh no, the tail end of it. The tail end of it isn't right. It's a zigzag, not a bunch of lines. I don't suppose this matches any of the others? No. Well, we can test my reforging idea. Otherwise, I messed up my one ingot, and now I'm just stuck here to die eventually. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, this is the coolest thing ever. You can click the water, and it's almost as if you're dipping a finger in where you click. The ripples ripple out from that point. That is so cool. What the heck does this do? Oh, did it open this? Small connector. Hmm. 
What does that connect? And that opens the other side. Hollowed out metal block. Oh, I know where that goes. That goes below the the forge mold. There was a couple slots that looked like it could hold something like this. Oh, right. I have the key back. So that's, that's done now. Now I can make a super key. Yeah, what is this connector for? Could it go in the arm? Nah. What's the next key? Oh yeah, I couldn't have even made the other keys because they they require that last part. So the last part's fixed. It's always going to be that circle thing. We have a tuning fork, a tuning fork, and two lines. Tuning fork. Tuning fork. Two lines. That's how you do it. Oh, yeah. I never really considered the fact that there's just kind of an empty void here. Hmm. Oh! That's where that goes. Disc. What the heck is this? Oh, I need to get both of these shapes through each side. Where does that one want to go, though? Maybe I just need them both lined up. Hmm, problem. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there we go. Goes here. What are we powering next? Hmm. This thing, but it's not connected in any way. 
disc. Oh. Oh, it's a gear. <laughs> That's so cool. Hmm. Where exactly does the gear go? Down here? Oh, it moves itself over there. Okay. Don't I still need a belt, though? Oh, it just revealed a belt on the ground. creating shapes over there. Oh, this is the one that everything is supposed to fit into. This, I think, is going to have to wait for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to see what's inside the pyramid.